that a good book? Yeah, I like it a lot. Can I have a dark beer? Yeah, yeah, sure. Big or small? Big. What happens to your hand? Oh, well, nothing serious. Sometimes yoga can be dangerous, you know? Downward dog. I know. I'm gonna bring it to you. All right, thank you. Nice to see you. You look good. How long has it been? I don't know, one year, two? I miss you. What happened to your hand? Oh, well, silly thing. You know, I fell down the stairs. Okay. But it's nothing. It just needs a couple of weeks. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What can I get you? Another one? Dark beer? No, no pills. Okay. How's your mother? Too bad. Yeah, but I have to go home. I have to be there. Marina? Straight to the point, huh? <laughs> Mind you. How are you, man? I mean, you look good. Really? Better than what I imagined. Are you working? Come on, Norman, are you going through one of those phases? Did you even leave the house today? No, not really. Come on, Norman. Hey, you, you know, it's like a spiral. You know, the more you stay, the less you want to go out, and so on, and so on, and so on. You need, you, you need to go out. You know, like turn around the spiral. Well, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit, I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> uh, Wilfred asked me to meet tomorrow, but I don't think I will go. Yeah, you shouldn't. Why not? No, no, no. Do you think I do? Here you go. What? He gives you ketamine. I'm sorry, Norma, but that guy will get you in trouble. Like, real trouble. I mean, what we do is nothing compared to that. Plus, plus you should leave that shit, man. It's no good. Well, I'm only doing it when I go out and... Well, then don't go out. Oh, I mean, don't go out with him. I don't know, call me if you need anything. Thanks, man. No problem. 
Cheers. Cheers. There you go. I mean, I know that you're very careful. You know, this is just, you know, I'm worried about you. I mean, I know that you're very smart, and then you can take care of yourself, but even the smartest people can easily be influenced if you push the right buttons. You know, even simple things, like the right choice of words. Remember what happened with Marina? She comes around, tells you that she loves you, and two months later, you leave your friends to walk her dog. Look, we cannot avoid being influenced. Everybody does. But at least choose by own. The things you can achieve telling people what they want to hear. And right now, Wilfred is giving you what you want, not what you need. And what do I need? Hey. Oh, hi. Can I have a Bloody Mary? Sure. Um, are you sitting over there? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. I'm going to pass the pizza. It just arrived. So what? Just go for it. Now, well, the sooner the better. Then we can enjoy the rest of the night. Come on. Come on. Well, oh, it's going to be easy. She's always smiling at you. Is the cocktail good? Good, thank you. Is everything okay? Yeah. Okay, you see, I'm a writer. And I just don't know if I should write about this or not. Oh, you're a writer. You know, I'm reading this book right now. Perhaps can help you. She's writing. It's not going to work. It's a Friday night and she's sitting alone in a bar drinking a fucking Bloody Mary. You think she's writing in her notebook? or waiting for someone to go and talk to her. I just love this phrase. It is from struggle, where your best work will come from. The times where everything seems to be the most complicated are the times that will define you the most. That's nice, thank you. Um, actually, I have another one. Wait, um, this, this book is full of them. Got open a sunny spot in the rain, you want to waste it? I haven't done that in what? Two years? I'm out of practice. Bullshit, and you know it, you've got the moves. I mean, I know in times like these people lose confidence, but man, damn, I wish I had your skills. You can't forget that. Come on, Norman, trust in yourself, you can. What if I fail? What if this time I fail? I promise you, everything will be fine. Everything. You can't promise that. Well, I can, because we always manage. Come on, you, do you remember that time at the, at the, the home bar? Bar. Yeah. You didn't think we could pull it off. And it, well, it was pretty risky, I admit it. We shouldn't have done it, but we did it. And we managed. The only reason we managed was because of you. Roman, because of you. You remember that, the way you hiked the bag? <laughs> Genius. I mean, you're fucking best, man. I couldn't have done it with anyone else. Shit, why did we ever stop hanging out? Marina. Oh, I know. And where is she now? I don't know. And, man, I don't care. Exactly. Come on, Norman, a second ago you asked me what you need. Well, this is it. You need this. We've all been there, Norma, I know. You know, life is unfair. I mean, you lost your job, you can pay the rent, your mom is sick, everything sucks. And it seems like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. But there is, I promise you. I'm going to tell you this only once. Norma, you are the most amazing person I know. 
and I love you, man. Like, I'm not lying, I, I really love you. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. And I'm not going to let you know. I'm not going to let you stay in bed and cry the whole day, for God's sake. I'm here for you. And believe me, this is what you need. A small and easy victory. You know, a small push to set the wheels in motion. Roman, this is your time. I mean, shit, I could do it myself if I could, but I can't. This was a stupid idea. I shouldn't have come. How much money can she have anyway? But you know, we never did this because of the money. You know we're not here because of that. It's okay, it's fine. It's, it's completely fine. I mean, it's your decision, man. If you don't want to do this, we drop it. We have some beers, we have some fun, we call it a night. I'm just trying to help you, you know? I'm here for you, you know? I'm here. Where are you going? To the toilet. Hey, where are you from? From Osnabrück. And where are you from? From Poland. I'm just here for a couple of weeks. Visiting them all? Um, I'm a journalist. I'm making a reportage. But what about you? Why are you here? I just always wanted to come here. To the bar? <laughs> no, I mean... I know what you mean. I always come here when I'm in town. What do you write about? That's nothing. It's just something that sometimes I feel very excited about and sometimes I feel I shouldn't write about at all. It's dumb. <laughs> it's about this, this guy who was a con artist and he convinced everyone in Berlin that he was a famous guy of some kind. Yeah, but he was just lying the whole time. Hi. Hi, babe. Yeah. Uh, then. The funny thing is that in the end, he became famous. Did he? Yeah. I'm interviewing him tomorrow. Nice. So my girlfriend, my my ex-girlfriend. Oh, ex. Yeah, my my ex-girlfriend. So 
so what are you guys doing tonight? Um, we don't have any plans. There's a party not too far from here. Never been there, but it seems cool. Hey, hello! Oh, this is... Tanya, right? Yes. Anna. Hi, nice to meet you, Anna. Oh, what happened to your hand? Oh, I, I fell down. But it's nothing. Uh, she said there was a party not so far. Maybe we can go. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, tonight. Oh, we still have a lot to do. Okay. Yes. Okay, then. Maybe we can meet another day. Sure. Bye. Bye. I told you, man, you're the best! <laughs> this was one of the best ever! Ever! What? She's a journalist? She's writing about a con artist. Ah, oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> Where was it? On the stool. Thank you. Thank you. Well, see you soon. Yes, soon. <laughs> Bye. Are they still? You're an asshole. Are they still? I love it. Yeah, what? <laughs> 